Hello, this is Professor Grant Thrall. Business Geography's mission is to improve the business decision. Some social scientists have as their mission to use the most complex statistic or mathematical transformation that they can devise in order to impress. But ultimately, it's for us. It's not such impressive things. We use them as necessary. But it's to improve the business decision. And if a thematic map can improve the business decision, then we should then use a thematic map. And that's what this discussion is about, is that we're going to create a thematic map. What we're looking at here is a map of schools of Alachua County. And I've informed my students in exercise 2B that they can pick any database that they want. The world is full of geospatial data. So I went to the Google and I typed, I was interested in schools because I am a professional educator. So I typed in Alachua County School Addresses and I came up with a list of schools in Alachua County and I have the name of the school, whether it's an elementary school or middle school or high school, and the address of the school with an easy copy, control C, copy, and then paste into a spreadsheet, then I can save that uh, data file and bring that data file, which I've shown in other videos, as to how to geocode based upon address in Mapitude. And then what I have is this point data file. In other operations, which I will show you in other videos, uh, one can produce a, an overlay and assign values to those points. And I have done that. I've assigned values of the percentage of population within the block group that are black and that are white. But there's a variety of places. If you explore more through the internet, one can find easily information on free and reduced lunch. But the source of the data is up to you. Uh, and what you, that's what one must become familiar with is what type of data are you going to use. So I'm going to activate my schools layer, make sure it's my working layer, and then click on my thematic map pie chart. And I have percent white and percent black. And apply that. And here we have pie charts of the uh, percentage of white and black students. So blue is white, the green is black. And we can then zoom in and see, well, what maybe come up with some hypotheses. And one hypothesis is that we know that the major shopping is along I-75. And we also know that most people in Alachua County work about where the cursor is, uh, which is University of Florida and Shands and the governance downtown at Gainesville, so in here. So we see is that there's a strong white component to the schools, and here there's a strong black component to the school. In other words, uh, housing that has the best access to the desired locations is generally thought of as being superior. Housing that has the least desirable access uh, to uh, places that the households want to go to, uh, generally are viewed as being inferior. And so we see that represented in the school racial makeup if the racial makeup is based upon what the local population distribution is within the census block groups. So this is just step one of making decisions using thematic maps in business geography.